Hello guys, this is Christy from 52 Hider 3 d with a brand new tutorial on how to make a Minecraft man. Um, I did do this tutorial before on my old channel, uh, on just a main 52 Hider channel, um, but this one is fully up to date with the new Cycles render engine and everything, so let's get started on this. Um, first thing I'm going to make which is going to make this a bit easier is we're going to bring in the, um, the Minecraft man texture right away so before you uh, do anything in Blender you need to go into your Minecraft um, be in here somewhere yeah, it's my Minecraft client and if you click options you'll then get your game location on disk if you just click on there it should come up and go into the bin and find minecraft.jar and open it with whatever um, archive editor you like to use. I'm using 7 and it's not going to like it, so I'll have to try with jzip instead. And it prefers that. Okay. So now you just have to go in and find the character texture, which I think is in mob. And there, it, there is char.png. There you go. Just one little file there. So I'm just going to take that and uh, where shall I drop this? I'll just drop it on the desktop for now. Uh, if I can find the desktop. Come on. Oh heck, I'll just drop it in Christie. Okay. Um, so let's load this in. So flip over to the UV image editor. Um yeah, this is not a real beginner tutorial because I'm going along quite fast doing this stuff. So just open that in. Okay. We can have some idea of what sort of size things are. So we've got this cube and luckily everything in Minecraft is cubes, pretty much. So we can just change the dimensions of this. So Z probably wants to be two. Uh, X which is side to side probably one. Uh, maybe that should be 1.5. Yeah, that's looking better. And then if we go three, probably one. And maybe 0.5 actually. Yeah, that's sort of the right size for the body. Um, and that's simple enough, so let's go ahead and rename this body. And now we can do the head. Pretty simple. Um, I'm going to duplicate this, just move it up a bit and change the dimensions again. Um, so the dimensions of the head are probably uh, 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 X, probably 111 one, one actually. That about right. Yep. So then we can, if we turn on snapping to a uh, vertex, just grab this, move it down, and snap it to the top like that. Okay. Then we can do the legs and the arms. Uh, so duplicate this one, and they should be the same except the X. Uh, well, they should be 0.5 I think like that and then we can move it into snap like that and just duplicate it and snap that one there and then we can do exactly the same thing with the legs so duplicate that one there because the legs are all the same size as the arms or they should be yeah duplicate there we go So we've got the shape done, that's the modelling done, that was quick. Um, so probably the thing we want to do now is actually join these all together because, uh, yeah, so if you don't really want to be working with all these different objects, so just press Control J to join them all together. Um, rename the object again, just call it. Uh, 
Steve. Um, so we've got that. If you go into edit mode, this is all set up. Um, don't whatever you do remove doubles because it'll join everything together and it'll be a, a nightmare. So uh, what do we do now? We want to unwrap this whole thing. So I've done this before and it was a right fill. So what I think we need to do is unwrap. Well, select everything and mark everything as the same, so that everything is uh, every face is a will be a different UV island. So if we now unwrap this, and we've got piles of faces here. So what we're going to need to do is go in and if you choose the um, keep UV in edit mode mesh selection in sync. Yep. And if we go to face select mode, we can select the first face and start matching these up. So this is the front face. And probably one thing we want to do is under UVs choose snap to pixels. So now we can move these around. And I think we need to turn snapping off. That's better. Okay. And move that in there. Move that in there. And you've got the first one done pretty much already. So um we can just go to the next one. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's fine. Um, like that. Uh, which one should we do next? Let's do the back. Put it there. Grab it there. that and yeah um for so yeah so now we can just keep going and get the idea um yeah so I'll just do one more face now I've I've unchecked um keep you V and edit mode the same because it was being annoying. So that's the face we can just Grab that. There we go. And I'll leave you to do that. I'll uh, just go through this really fast. Okay, so we've now got all these faces mapped to the texture on the uh, yeah the uh, faces on the texture. So now we need to set up the material. Um, so. Uh, make sure you're in cycles because I'm going to be using cycles today uh, just because it's so much nicer uh, and switch over to the node editor make sure you've got this selected and choose new material let's just call it Steve again and we've got the node chain set up here so add a new and texture image texture and choose the character and pipe the color from that into the color of the diffuse. And let's just see what that looks like rendered. Uh, absolutely nothing. Now let's just have a quick look. Um, it always does this. Let's assign it. And let's see what happens now. Uh, that's very odd. Um, ah, I choose render result, not character. There, we've got character now. So, there. Now we get to see where there have been some slight errors. Um, I seem to have put on the um, things backwards. Or maybe I haven't, and maybe it's using the wrong texture coordinates. So if I choose add another input and texture coordinate and drag the UV into the vector. No, I did obviously make a mistake there. So just go back to the UV image editor. Let's use 
character. Oh yeah, okay, that one wants to go. That one needs to go there. That one needs to go there. Let's try that again. And that one's still got something weird about it. I wonder if it's rotated. It's rotated by 180 degrees. Ah, there we go. For some reason that one had got rotated. So, there we are. Um, and that one's got rotated as well. What's happened here? There we got it. So that's pretty much you done. Um, let's just stick this in camera view, give it a render, see what it looks like. There we go, and it's a fairly low quality render, but uh, it's not looking too bad. And of course, it's quite blurry simply because you um, this is a very low resolution texture. We could use a a better texture from a HD texture pack but uh, you can figure out how to do that yourself let's just add in a floor plane or rather let's move it up so it sits on the ground first and then just add in a floor plane like that floor I don't know, give it a green, doesn't really matter. And get the camera looking in a better place. Get a nicer focal length. Whoa, it's flying everywhere today. Move the light around, maybe duplicate it. We've got yeah, and that does look pretty nice. So that's it for this tutorial. If you want to learn about how to animate the tutorial, uh, the animate the um, the guy Steve, um, you need to go over. Um, it, there's a playlist on this channel of the videos on the old channel that uh, tell you how to animate it and render it and do all sorts of extra stuff with it but it does use um, Blender internal render engine so if you want to take it any further go over and find that if not I'll see you next time I do, do a tutorial and you watch it so post your renders on facebook.com slash 52 hider 3d Please put any feedback there as well, and of course you can always do that by commenting on this video. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.